this one feels really good on my hips because I'm so tight, especially through the outer parts of my glutes. So being able to just sit here and breathe into a stretch can really, really help offload a lot of pressure. Hi, I'm Tom Daly, an Olympic diver, and I am doing a series of six minute summer workouts to help you get in shape for summer. Now, if you've seen any of the workouts that I've done previously, then you'll know that they're quite tough. I've done abs, I've done legs, I've done glutes, everything that you can think of. But one thing I haven't gone through is a stretching routine. Now, I'm gonna take you through a six minute stretching routine that can really, really help you if you have tight hips. So, let's get to it. So we're gonna hold each stretch for 30 seconds. All you have to do is follow exactly what I'm doing and you will be feeling nice and flexible like a contortionist by the end of this. So let's get started. So the first stretch that we're gonna go into is a hip flexor stretch. So we're gonna come up at 90 degrees, tuck your hips under. You're gonna have like 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here. And then if you don't feel this stretch right now, you can then lean forward into it, but always making sure that your hips are tucked under to save your back. So you're gonna feel it go all the way through here and you'll feel it up here. If that isn't strong enough still, you can lift your arm up and over and you will feel the stretch get slightly stronger. And after 30 seconds, if you can, you can bring your leg up and just hold the stretch here. This will then bring the stretch further down into your leg and you'll feel it in your quads. And just again hold and you just have to let your body relax so breathing in and breathing out and just relaxing into the stretch because at first they might not feel so good but just go gently into it and then after that you're going to slowly release the leg and go onto where your leg is here just push it out to the side slightly and when you're pushing it out to the side you'll feel it in your hip and just feel it push out and just hold only go as far as your body will let you don't push it too much you're going to just let the leg go out to the side and you'll feel a nice stretch on the inside of your hip and up through the side of your body as well we've got three more seconds two one and we're going to switch legs to the other side so exactly the same as what we did before the hip flexor stretch again if it's easy and you've got all your hips tucked under and everything at the right angle then you can let it go forward slightly as long as you've got your hips tucked under so you're protecting your back and if that's still too easy you can lift your arm up and go across to the side and you'll feel it stretch all the way through the right side of your body so you've got five more seconds of this and then we're going to do exactly the same as what we did before and bring the leg up if you can get your leg up if you can't get your leg up then just stay in the same position you were and just breathe into it slightly deeper because every breathe in, breath in and every breath out your body will slightly relax into this stretch so make sure that you are just relaxing and breathing we have five more seconds to go with the stretch three two one and relax it down and then we're going to push the leg out to the side like before and you'll feel the stretch in your tfl and you'll just keep pushing out just breathe into it some people will find the stretch harder than others because some people naturally have slightly more flexible hips than others but just keep working this stretch it will be beneficial for everyone especially if you have a bad back working on your hips could be a really really good thing so the next one is a classic yoga pose so you're going to bring your right leg through to your left hand and sit everything down onto the floor you're going to have your leg at about a 45 degree angle making sure that your feet are flexed to protect your knee this one some people might find this difficult you can you might be quite high up or you might be quite low down but just being able to breathe into the stretch and trying to get your hip low to the ground you'll feel it in your tfl again and maybe on the outside some people feel it on the inside it all depends on where you're tight and where you're feeling it and then after 30 seconds we're going to switch to the other side swing the other leg round and then sit into it slowly and gently as you can see my hips are really tight so these are stretches that i try to do every day to try and stay mobile because if you're not staying mobile that's when things can tighten up 
you get sore backs, especially if you're working like in an office, sitting down in a constant flex position with your hips. Being able to do this will really, really help you. So the next one we're going to do is what we call a pretzel stretch. So you're going to bring one leg to here, one leg back around here, and you're just going to feed your arm through to the other side. This one you will feel in your glutes, you'll feel it in your thoracic, and you'll be able to get your whole spine stretched out, and you'll feel that really offloads your hips. I'm going to hold this for 30 seconds. It's called a pretzel because of this position. It kind of looks a little bit like a pretzel, if you like. And then we'll swing to the other side. Again, get into the pretzel position and feed your arm through. This one feels really good on my hips because I'm so tight, especially through the outer parts of my glutes. So being able to just sit here and breathe into a stretch can really, really help offload a lot of pressure. And then from this position, we're gonna go into what I call the frog stretch. So you're gonna go out wide with your legs and making sure everything's in the same line and go down and just push back slightly and you'll feel everything on the inner thighs really, really stretching. And this one can really help offload your inner thighs, your adductors to be able to walk around more freely, move your hips. Because lots of people have such tight hips that everything gets a lots of pressure put into their lower back and then from there we're going to go into the sumo push aparts so you're going to go down as low as you can and push your legs apart again it's more for your inner thighs again can help offload your hips because we've worked on the front of our hips the side of the hips now making sure that you work on the inside to be able to just push everything out can really help ease some of that back pain that you might have and for your knees and for a whole host of things or often stems from tight hips so there we go that is a six minute hip stretch there are so many more things that you can do for your hips to make sure that you can stay mobile stay active but that was a little six minute taster that you can do at the end of a workout when you work up wake up in the morning whatever you or whenever you want to do it this can really really help you set yourself up for an, an awesome day i hope you enjoyed that little six minute stretch now I would say if you know anyone that has sore backs, sore hips, sore knees or anything like that, then this workout is great for them. So make sure you share it with them. And all the details of all the stretches are going to be in the description box below. But for now, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you've got the notifications on because then you will not miss another workout on my channel because we're going to be back with plenty more to come.